What's up and welcome back. Today we're talking about what Red Dead Online update missed. What the update missed. And this kind of follows a sentiment that we talked about earlier in the week where we said the community has been saying and saying and saying and saying and giving so much feedback. But Rockstar has a game plan and they're sticking to it. And they're not letting community feedback deter them from going directly down the path that they had already designed for Red Dead Online. I'm Bandit Barney, bringing you everything you need to know about Red Dead 2 and Red Dead Online. Thank you for joining us today. And this video is thanks to a awesome thing that a Reddit user put together. For those of you that aren't familiar, which probably most of you are, Reddit is a place where for really any game that gets released, it's really a great place where developers can go get feedback, players can go to give feedback, and it's really where the main discussions around games are held. And so, there was a Reddit user, I'm not sure by uh, what name, but the Butt Bandit is the one that has made it popular. So, the this data is collected between November 27th and February 24th, and what they did is they went in and they found the most requested things from the community, the things that are being talked about the most, so that we have a list of five things that are in order of like, hey, this is what the community wants right now, and then this is what the community is like looking for in the future. Let's dive into number one, which is hardcore lobbies. These are no auto aim, no dead eye ability cards thing, uh, no ability cards lobbies. And then on, on like a 1.5 note, private lobbies and friendly fire off lobbies. So this is uh, something that was like kind of obvious, but it's really cool to see it put in order now and now know that this is the most requested thing that the player base has for Rockstar. And yet this is something that Rockstar hasn't even acknowledged, right? I When we did the update and we did commentary on like the Twitter posts about the update, there was so many Twitter responses to Rockstar's update. They were like, where's our free aim lobby? And I think this points to uh, something that maybe Rockstar didn't anticipate. I'm not sure, but Red Dead 2 has a much older audience. Red Dead Online is a much older audience than let's say like GTA. And uh, I think it correlates to the fa the player base wanting different things than you would want for like a GTA. And this is something that Boogie2988 brought up. We'll link his video down below because he, he has a really good video on this. But he points out that there's an older audience for Red Dead Online. So it, when you have an older audience, the audience doesn't necessarily want to like make their horse a different color or or you know like in gta how there's so many different things and, and adaptations you can make to cars and whatnot that appeals more so not that an older audience doesn't like that but it appeals more to a younger audience because what an older audience wants is when they're done with their day their work or whatever and they're going to play a game to just kind of unwind or enjoy themselves they want content they want something to do they're not necessarily looking to go jump into a game and get the coolest thing so that they can show their friends they have it. They really just want to go in there and play and enjoy themselves. And since the uh, Red Dead Online is like this Western and it's a, it's a, it involves a little bit more of an older audience, I can see why the auto aim and uh, a no auto aim in a hardcore lobby is wanted for like that, th that more dedicated older audience. It doesn't seem like something that a younger audience would be super concerned with. But apparently, according to Reddit and, and what's been asked on Reddit, this is the most wanted thing in Red Dead Online right now. Hardcore lobbies, so that'd be lobbies with no auto aim and no dead eye and no ability cards. And then it's kind of a subset of that private lobbies, which is something that I've wanted and I'm sure you have wanted at times. And uh, that wouldn't mean no friendly fire. The second thing that uh, we want, I'm so excited to figure out what we want in Red Dead Online. Free roam content, non-stranger missions. So this is something that I think uh, Rockstar just briefly touched on with their daily challenges because I think this kind of tiptoes into the arena of that free roam content. I think one thing that went wrong with the daily challenges is that it promotes activities that a lot of players don't want to partake in. Some of the activities are like kill other players from horseback either using throwing knives explosives or whatever but it pushes you to incur a bounty on yourself so it's like there's a positive 
daily challenge you can get rewarded for it but at the same time there's a negative side where you're gonna get a bounty if you do complete that which is kind of odd to have one of the biggest new attractions to the game involve a negative outcome when you're doing it because of the new bounty law mechanic that they've added so specifically when we're talking about free room content what has been asked of on reddit are stagecoach robberies bounty hunting which we can get bounty hunted but we can't do any bounty hunting selling horses and wagons legendary animal rare spawns duels and poker now i can say for sure that, that what we've seen on the channel it, and on discord is a request like hey it'd be really fun if in online we had something like we have in story mode where we can go and uh hunt different animals to craft different clothing and i think that would be more fun it's instead of just you know flat out spending the cash on the clothing or maybe what you could do is you could make it so that you know you have some clothing that is there right and if you want to just buy that go ahead go for it but if you want to get that at a cheaper price go get the animal parts and craft it and then you can buy it at a much dis uh, at a discounted price and i think that'd be a cool way of just adding something in there so that you can still have it payable for the person who either has the money or wants to spend the money on the microtransaction or you can make it really really enjoyable for the person who's not interested in uh grinding out that hunting that just got a little bit harder and just go and craft that craft that thing and then on number three more to purchase and specifically hunting wagons homes crates to store unwanted guns air balloons so i think uh more to purchase here isn't necessarily the aesthetics because like i said it in I gotta give credit to Boogie for bringing this up, but it really is apparent that the Red Dead Online audience is an older audience. It's an audience that is more interested in the content side of things than the aesthetic side of things, where a younger audience, you can sometimes totally please on the aesthetic side. But when we talk about more to purchase, we're not generally talking about the like different clothing and stuff, although that is good. But specifically, we're talking about like adding in wagons that we can use and adding in these different aspects of the game like homes and that crate to store guns on so you don't have a full weapon wheel that you're cycling through every single time these things are are content based things uh so that can get kind of confusing when you talk about more to purchase because we're not just talking about aesthetics and right now not even aesthetics but more along the lines of like uh goals in game that we can work to to unlock more content so getting a hunting wagon grinding your hunting so that you can get you have enough money to buy yourself a hunting wagon and then using that for your hunting to make it that much better giving incentives that make things better the more you work on them because right now it just seems like and i think this is something that rockstar has kind of fumbled around with there's not a huge incentive to grinding out because each time we end up grinding out it seems like we're punished when Rockstar brings something new and it's that much more expensive than the norm. At least that's my opinion. I don't know how you guys feel. You can let me know down below. But more to purchase specifically on the content side of things, adding in those homes. Air balloons would be fun. It would be so fun to have air balloons or air balloon races or things like that. That would be super, super fun. And I'm sure that these are things that can come far down in the future. But right now, we're on to the third thing and rockstar has added a little bit of free roam content so they've added those daily challenges uh we we haven't got some of the things that they said they were going to add that aren't in the game yet like some of those things that they said they're going to release in the coming weeks that we haven't got like fool's gold and the fishing challenge uh but other than that we're on to the third point and none of these things have been addressed or commented on or added in by rockstar and this like I said, this just plays into that Rockstar set their, their, they've designed their roadmap and the community is not having any effect on that. Their roadmap is going in the direction that they want and whatever is said from the players is not being acknowledged. Probably, I mean, I assume that they're hearing it because there's so much outrage about how poorly Red Dead Online has been doing, but it's just, it, it's not affecting where they're going with the game whatsoever let's jump on to number four which is game mode content and rockstar's added game mode content if we look at that title and say yeah well they're adding different showdown modes but specifically when we're talking about uh what's been said on reddit is train heists 
bank heist and survival so train heist and bank heist are something that before the online was even released we want um it's hard to say the state that the game is in like if you add these things it's probably the only thing that people are going to be doing in uh in red dead online because there's not a lot outside of that to do but it's been known that this has been wanted i don't know how long it takes for a dev to work on this and since it's so obvious that this has been wanted not only that uh, I mean, bank heist and train heist. Since it's so obvious that those things have been wanted and they haven't been added, right? And it's something that even Rockstar, when they're creating their roadmap outside of community feedback, at some somewhere on the map has to be bank heist, right? Stagecoach robberies, bank heist. Somewhere on that has to be that because it, it's so obvious that it belongs in this game. It, it leads me to kind of question, uh, along with the limited number of updates and news we're getting from them, is part of the reason that we're not getting you know I, I would even say adequate updates because they're spending a lot of time working on the pc version of the game is that something that's really slowing down and hurting the quality of these updates it could be because we know that rockstar has gone to pc after they released their console versions in the previous titles that's something they're probably going to do with red dead online we haven't heard any news around it but i mean if you're not if, if a significant portion of your devs aren't working on something else then it leads me to wonder like how many people do you have at the office working on these online updates because right now it doesn't look like it, they're being done adequately you know often enough or even to the magnitude that we would expect and then let's move on to number five, which is quality of life changes. These are not at the top of the list, but you know, these are still things that have been asked of a lot. All the things on this list have been commented on and asked of a lot. And specifically when we talk about quality of life changes, more butchers near Coulter and Annisburg, lawmen attacking griefers as soon as they enter town, no despawning loot slash hunted pelts and carcasses, self-defense system, sort game mode playlist by team, single and co-op. So, it seems like this is where Rockstar has started to scratch the surface. Almost like they're diving into what the community wants in reverse, but this is where they've started to scratch the surface because they get it. They have the law and bounty system, although it's not perfected right now, it does work towards uh, punishing griefers. It, it, it works towards punishing griefers. It has some side effects that are unwanted right now, but it, it, they're working that direction. They've announced and already started the no despawning slide uh, on your pelts on your horse and carcasses and thing and that actually has resulted in the biggest money glitch uh to date um in the game uh, i don't cover those significant glitches that involve messing with PC, uh, your playstation or xbox settings but there is a massive money or carcass duplication glitch right now that's resulting in a faster rate of money being earned than ever before if you want to know about that search youtube it's out there those are the two main things we have here on the quality of life changes. So it seems like this is where Rockstar is starting to scratch the surface. And going in that more optimistic direction, I, 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 part of me has to think that there's something going on over there that the full dev team is not able to dive into Red Dead Online. Whether that be they're already working on their other game and you know Red Dead 2 was supposed to be a story and the online wasn't going to be dived into completely although that does go against the stockholder call that we had from take two where take two talked about in a year that's really when Red Dead Online is going to be revamped uh vamped up and that leads me to believe maybe that means that it's because this game is being worked on to become a PC game right now and that's where a lot of the resources are going it would make sense that you know when you it doesn't make sense that when you release online, you have the microtransactions immediately and still call it beta, but it would make sense why the online hasn't gained speed at all because there's not a lot going into it right now and everything's being put into making this Red Dead 2 and Red Dead Online a PC game. As soon as that's done, then we can start seeing more significant and more consistent updates to the game. We'll see if that's right. It's just theory right now. Thank you for stopping by. Once again, really, really appreciate you. And until the next time, we'll catch you later.